welcome to this course on communication system which is being offered to third year undergrad students of electrical engineering department at IIT Bombay. Let me give you an overview of this course. This is a basic core course and it is a background course for other communication courses which are to follow specifically the digital communication. We will start the study of this course with revisit of some of the signals and systems concept which you would have studied earlier. Specifically, we will study Fourier transform and inverse Fourier transform and during this study, we will define some specific functions like impulse function to see the relationship between the Fourier transforms and the Fourier series. With the help of this specialized general functions, we will see that we can bring Fourier transforms and Fourier series under one framework. After studying the implications of Fourier transform for communication study, we will move on to study the conditions required for distortionless transmission of signals over a communication channel. Having done this, we will move to the core of the communication system course and that is what is known as modulation techniques. We will start with first linear modulation. In linear modulation, we will study different modulation techniques like amplitude modulation, double sideband, suppressed carrier modulation, single sideband modulation, vestigial sideband modulation. We will see the advantages and disadvantages of each of this modulation schemes. Having studied this linear modulation schemes, we will move over to what is known as angle modulation and we will specifically study frequency modulation and phase modulation techniques. In the process, we will also study the representations of what is known as narrowband signals and systems. This study will help us to carry out the analysis of FM and PM modulation systems in a much lucid manner. After we have done this, we will move over to representation of noise in communication systems. We will see that the way we model noise in communication system will be very close to a study which we have done in relationship to narrowband signals and systems. After completing this study, we will take the study of what is known as pulse code modulation which forms the first basic block to the study of digital communication. We will have a look at the sampling process, the quantization process and the encoding of the signals. And we will also give a feel of the advanced version of the pulse code modulation like DPCM that is differential pulse code modulation and delta modulation. Having studied this, we will move over to the final module of our course 
and that is basically the performances of the different modulation schemes in the presence of noise. So, we will see basically how FM modulation at the expense of bandwidth requirement improves the overall output signal to noise ratio at the receiver which is not true of linear modulation schemes like amplitude modulation schemes. For this course, we would be following the textbook which is by Hekins that is communication systems. Once again welcome to this course and I hope you enjoy this course. Thank you.